something special is happening at the Denver Zoo. After eight months in an incubator, eggs are hatching. And these rare baby Komodo dragons are getting their first glimpse of the world. Working with an animal like this that has very rarely been bred in captivity and so little is known about them that everything that we do is such a learning process that makes it very exciting for us. Komodo dragons are notoriously difficult to breed in captivity. Hatching these rare reptiles takes time and patience. It's hard to believe, but when fully grown, these tiny baby dragons turn into adult Komodos that weigh more than 150 pounds and can live for over 30 years. There may be fewer than 5,000 of these ancient creatures in the wild, living on small islands in Indonesia. With small populations like the Komodo dragon, it's important for us to learn as much as we can about not only keeping them alive, but reproducing them and raising the young. And by uh, keeping animals and breeding them, we learn a lot that a lot of times you can't learn from uh, field biology. While staff check the incubators for new hatchlings, the adult dragons are examined closely by their handlers. This is Castor the dragon. He's a very curious dragon. He just very friendly, as you can see, he likes to be pet. He'll shut his eyes when I rub him near the head. The captive Komodos seem gentle, but handlers know better. Adult dragons have a nasty bite. She's coming. Wild Komodos will eat just about anything. These zoo dragons feast on a diet consisting of fish and rats. The baby Komodos will live in a nursery for now, and move to a much larger exhibit as they grow. Anytime we raise babies from almost this size to adulthood to the point where they're breeding, it means to us that we're doing a good job. These baby dragons are a small miracle and proof that some creatures truly are born to be wild. <laughs>